Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial and today we're going to be creating procedurally generated voxel uh, terrain or formations. So as you can see we're doing two ways to do this. One way is a very simple and easy way only involving two modifiers and the other is a more advanced particle system type way of doing this. So let's go ahead and open up a new scene in Blender and we'll get started. Alright, now that you've opened up a new scene in Blender, we can go ahead and get started. And we're going to get started by doing the first easy and simple one. So this one only requires to be added to two modifiers and a texture, so it's obviously fairly simple. So go ahead and go into edit mode and subdivide your cube by around 10 cuts. If you want to go farther, you can. It looks better once you go farther. After that, you're going to go over to your modifier panel and add a new modifier. We're going to add a displacement modifier. Go ahead and click new on texture and go over to our texture panel. Change your type from image or movie over to clouds. Actually, we're going to change that to from an eye. And we can change our size to one. Go back to your modifier panel and add a new modifier. We're going to add a remesh modifier and change the mode from sharp to blocks. Now this is fairly simple and it looks all right, but it's definitely too blocky. So if you were to change your resolution, that's the octree depth here, we're gonna move that up to around six. Now this looks good, but there's another way to do this. Another way that's a little more advanced, but it definitely looks better. Let's go ahead and open up a new scene and we're gonna get started on that one. All right, so now we've opened up a new scene, we're gonna use particles to edit our mesh. So the first thing you want to do is add a new cube, or duplicate your existing cube, and add a new modifier, and we're going to add a particle instance modifier. And we're going to select our opposite cube as the object. We're also going to click size, and uncheck dead and unborn. Next you want to go over to your original cube and add a particle system. Alright, so in your particle settings, you're going to change your start and end lifetime all to 1. And as you can see, this automatically looks better on our particle instance. So what is a particle instance? Well, basically, it takes your original mesh that has the particle instance modifier and makes it a tiny bit smaller and then it puts it where the particles are. So as you can see, the particle layout here is the same as our particle instance. All right, so let's go back to our particle settings and we'll change a couple of things here. So you want to go ahead and change your emit from to volume and also your distribution from jitter to grid. Now, this looks a little bit more uniform, but it still doesn't look the way we want it to. So, go ahead and change your render from Blender Render to Cycles Render, just so that we'll get a texture under the particle settings here. Go ahead and click New, and go ahead and open this texture in your texture tab. Change your type from Image or a Movie over to Clouds. Change your size to 1. And under your colors, go ahead and check Ramp. We can bring both of these colors in, fairly towards the center. And that is almost it. We also need to uncheck time and check density under influence. So back in our particle settings, the last thing we need to do is change our size from 0.05 to 0.025. And this doesn't look the best right now. What we need to do is change our resolution. So right now it's at 10. We're going to go ahead and change that over to 50. And as you can see, we have a perfect, nice voxel generation here, procedurally generated voxel um, cave system type formation. And now we have our two voxel systems here. So we have our basic one, only involving two modifiers, and our first one, which is our particle system one. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.